with surveys suggesting up to 74% of Americans regularly deal with gastrointestinal related issues or symptoms, it's not surprising that so many people have started taking digestive enzymes and probiotic supplements in their search for better gut health. But which one should you be taking? The red pill or the blue pill? <laughs> I mean, digestive enzymes or probiotics. Well, in this video, we'll take a closer look at both of them, including what they do, how they can help your gut health, and who they are best suited for. Hi, I'm registered dietitian Rochelle Godman. And just before we get started, did you know that us humans have been fascinated by bacteria since as far back as the 1600s? In fact, it was around this time that famous scientists like Antony van Leeuwenhoek first viewed bacteria under a microscope. But despite their pioneering discoveries, Antony and other leaders of microbiology viewed bacteria as mainly disruptive and disease causing. And so if you had asked them, which is better, probiotics, being bacteria, or digestive enzymes, <laughs> they would have been team enzymes all the way. Fast forward to the 21st century though, and we've learned a lot. In fact, in the past two decades or so, we have truly begun to understand how much we need bacteria, especially in our guts, and just how poorly we can feel when we don't have adequate amounts and diversity of them. But of course, that's just one aspect of gut health. We also have to worry about how well we digest and absorb the food we eat. <laughs> so with that history lesson out of the way, let's first look at what are probiotics. Well, you probably already know that they are healthy bacteria that can benefit us humans in some way. But did you know the name probiotic actually means for life, which is such a befitting name for these little bacteria buddies of ours. Now, here's a really cool thing. Inside your gut right now, there is a five foot long tube known as the large intestine or colon. And guess what? It can house upwards of 100 trillion bacteria or microbes to use the technical term. And they come from thousands of different species, ranging from beneficial to neutral to potentially harmful. Together, they make up what is called your microbiome. And you can think of it like an entire rainforest inside your gut. So now you know that. I bet you're wondering, what does a healthy microbiome look like? In other words, how can we make sure the 100 trillion bacteria buddies living inside of us help our gut instead of hindering it? Well, just as a healthy rainforest requires diverse plant and animal life to flourish and thrive, your microbiome also needs a wide variety of bacteria, yeast, and fungal species to remain in balance. And to give you an idea of just how important this is, I wanted to share a quote from this 2020 paper we recently read in the Digestive Diseases Journal. So the researchers wrote, and I quote, this diversity allows humans to obtain a variety of benefits, such as digesting various foods, especially fiber, producing vitamins and other protective metabolites, activating homostatic gut and systemic immune responses, and preventing colonization by pathogens, unquote. And if you don't speak fluent geek like our research team at Essential Stacks, to summarize what they are saying is, a diverse microbiome can help your digestion, nutrient absorption, immune system, and even protect you from dangerous bacteria and yeast. Not only that, but a well-balanced microbiome has also been linked to better mood, skin, cognition, and metabolism. But what happens if your microbiome is unhealthy? Well, when there is an imbalance of good and bad bacteria in our gut, dysbiosis can develop, which is just a fancy way of saying our microbial community. The rainforest within us is out of whack. And this is a problem because it can then cause many digestive problems like bloating, constipation, and of course, diarrhea. So repopulating your gut microbiome with beneficial bacteria, in other words, probiotics, can help to bring things back into balance. And in terms of how we can consume more probiotics, well, there are three great options you can try. The first would be to rebuild the bacterial rainforest in your gut by consuming probiotic-rich fermented foods, like sauerkraut and kimchi. And if you wanna learn about them, check out the videos we recorded for our fermented food series. 
links in the description below. Of course, not everyone loves the taste of these. So the next best option you can try are fermented drinks like kefir and kombucha. Most people find these much easier to consume and often end up loving the taste. And if you wanna learn about how to make these fermented foods, check out the videos in the description below. And finally, if you find probiotic foods and drinks a bit of a challenge to consume regularly enough to support your microbiome, then you can always try a probiotic supplement. Here at Essential Stacks, we make this. And since I don't wanna turn this into an infomercial for our probiotics, I'll just say this. Picking a good probiotic supplement is tough. Most don't deliver enough bacteria or from a diverse enough range of strains. So if you wanna learn what to look for in a probiotic supplement, check out our buyer's guide to probiotics video. And the link for this is also in the description below. Now you know what probiotics are, why they're important, and just how silly our old Dutch scientist friend Antoni was when he thought bacteria were bad. Silly Dutch man. <laughs> Let's take a look at what digestive enzymes are and why they're important. So I guess the first big thing to say is that although probiotics are undoubtedly beneficial, sometimes the problem with our gut health isn't due to an imbalanced microbiome. Instead, sometimes the issue arises earlier in the digestive tract, like in the stomach or small intestine. In other words, we have a problem digesting our food properly. And in these cases, digestive enzymes are a lot more important. So to set the scene for you, it's important to know that our bodies naturally and constantly produce enzymes that help break down the food we eat into smaller building blocks that our cells can use for energy. For obvious reasons, a huge steak can't just lie down the digestive tract in its entirety. Instead, we've got to break it down first in multiple ways. And one of the key ways for doing this is with enzymes. But this natural enzyme production can decline due to age, an unhealthy diet, stress, and a variety of other health issues. And if we are not making enough enzymes, then our bodies might struggle to completely break down the food we eat. And this in turn can cause uncomfortable digestive symptoms. Hello, bloating, gas, and reflux. And in these cases, you might take a digestive enzyme supplement like this, for example. In other words, you would send down more of the good guys to help with food breakdown. And that way you can ensure you don't end up like Brian Cranston storming out of the Tonys. So in terms of which is better, well, hopefully you can now see that one is not necessarily better than the other. Instead, it comes down to what your digestive issues are and whether foods are the key cause of them. And so to wrap up this video, let's take a quick look at when to choose which supplement. So quite simply, probiotics can help with a broader range of health concerns than digestive enzymes. And that's because your gut microbiome can affect so many other parts of the body as we saw earlier in the video. Supplemental probiotics have been found to help with many issues, including irritable bowel syndrome and constipation, as well as other common GI issues like leaky gut, SIBO, and diarrhea. Probiotics are even thought to potentially benefit non-digestive issues like depression, acne, and allergies. So now in terms of when you should choose digestive enzymes, well, these are a better choice when most of your issues come from eating. You see, although probiotics can help digest fiber-rich foods, that's about it. By contrast, a digestive enzyme supplement with a wide variety of different enzymes can help you digest everything from protein to fats, and of course, carbs and fiber. With that said, something like our Pure Enzyme Supplement, which is a multi-enzyme formula, is not for everyone. You see, if you only find some specific foods cause you a problem, for example, dairy, then you don't need an enzyme supplement with so many different enzymes. Instead, you would be fine taking a single enzyme supplement. For example, lactase enzymes for lactose intolerance, or alpha-galactosidase enzymes for beans and legumes, or even peptidase DPP4 for gluten intolerance. And by contrast, if you get bloated or experience other digestion issues randomly, meaning you can't pinpoint a specific food, well then a broad spectrum digestive enzyme supplement like Pure Enzymes may be your best bet. And to wrap up our video, what happens if you take both probiotics and enzymes? <laughs> well, the simple answer is 
you can, <laughs> as they don't interfere with each other and offer complementary benefits. However, we don't want you to go spending money on supplements that aren't really necessary. So it can be worth trialing out each supplement separately to see if one works better for you than the other. For example, you could take a probiotic for four weeks and keep an eye on your symptoms. If they improve, you know probiotics by themselves are probably good enough. If not, go ahead and try adding digestive enzymes into your routine. Overall, the moral of the story is that both probiotics and digestive enzyme supplements can benefit different parts of your digestive system. So to recap, while enzymes help you break down food completely to help with bloating, gas, and indigestion, probiotics help repopulate your gut microbiome to benefit both digestive and overall health. Now we wanna hear from you. What have you found works best for you? Let everyone know by leaving a comment below. If you enjoy this video as part of our digestion series, then hit the like and subscribe button to make sure you never miss another video. Our team of dietitians and doctors here at Essential Stacks are so excited to continue researching which foods and supplements help your gut health. That way you can save hundreds of hours of trial and error and focus on what's best for your digestive health. Thanks for watching and see you in the comments. Bye for now.